What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. I'm in my hotel room, that's right. And I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks in Silhouette Studio right now, guys. This is um, something that I've been wanting to tackle and I think it's something that's gonna be very, very useful for a lot of people because a lot of people are not using Silhouette Studio to its fullest potential and this program has a lot, a lot of potential. So I'm gonna start the series of videos, it's not gonna be just one, I'm gonna start a series of videos about this software and show you guys, um, help you guys um, get your wheels turning and expand your creativity so that you can use this software to its maximum potential and you guys can start cutting out some dope designs in Silhouette Studio, stunning into your cameo, all right? So, roll the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Hey, Doug, you ready? Wait a minute. So, if it's your first time here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Let's dive straight into Creative Studio, shall we? We're now recording on the screen. I have Silhouette Studio Designer Edition right here. Um, some of you guys might have the basic edition. Some of you guys might have the uh, des designer edition. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry, I'm using business edition. This is business edition. So, um, Silhouette Studio. What do we typically do with Silhouette Studio? Typically, we um, the I think the mo the main thing that a lot of people do is trace designs, right? So you bring something in and then you trace it, but that has very, very you're limited to what you can create. So I'm gonna start showing you guys different things that I use in Silhouette Studio to create different designs and to um, help the software act more of a designer than, um, than just a basic tracing tool, all right? So let's start off with text, all right? I get a lot of people asking me, Alan, where'd you get this text from? And you can go down um, a text finder and download text, but you can use the text in Silhouette Studio and manipulate it to do the things that you want it to do, all right? Like for example, all right, let's let's just uh, grab the text tool right here. I'm gonna click right here, and I'm just gonna type in the letter E, for example, right? And most of the times when we're doing something like this, right? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna click the arrow key, I'm gonna select the E, and then I'm gonna color it black so we can see it, all right? Most of the time when we're creating something large on a shirt, we want the letters to be thicker, right? So our favorite text to use when we want it thicker is impact so i'm going to type in impact right that's our favorite text to use right so but what's wrong with impact when you make it bigger it doesn't look right it looks like this part right here is too long and these e's are the the, the legs on the e's are too short so you guys have to understand that you can manipulate uh text in the software let me show you what i'm talking about Okay, so how do we manipulate this? So this text right here is grouped together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, make it a compound path, okay? Um, we're gonna make it a compound path. And once we made it a compound path, we turn it from a text element to an actual shape element. And when we, now that we made a shape element, we could like double click on it and we get these points. Now, anytime you have a point, you can start to manipulate, manip manipulate that object, right? So now, we can hold our hand on shift. As soon as we get this icon right here, we can click on that, click on that, click here, still holding down shift, click here, click here. Oh, uh, you gotta make sure you click on all of them. Okay, I missed. Click the highlight. Hold on. Click first, click without holding shift, then hold down shift and click still holding shift click 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 now let go of shift and we can grab and we can pull these out and we can manipulate it as we're pulling it out so now our e looks a little looks a lot better right it looks like a full e all right because um before it was looking a little short it was looking a little weird so now we can manipulate these points and we can do different things. We could even bring this in if we wanted to, right? Shift, click, and we can bring this part in if we wanted to. We can twist it, we can do, we can do all types of stuff with this, um, with that option once we turn it into a shape, right? 
So let's just, for example, leave it like this long, right? Make it a little bit longer. I'm gonna show you something dope that you can do. A little quick, um, quick thing that you can do to create a, a, a nice looking design, right? To get, make some money real fast. All right, so, so now you have, uh, just check my time real fast. Now you have your E, right? And now you made the back of it longer. Why do we do that, right? Um, because we want to create something decent, something, some easy to, 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 we, this is like, this black area is serving like a canvas. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the text and I'm going to go ahead and type something A L L A N. Right. So I got that typed in and now I'm going to change this to impact also. All right. So now we are going to go ahead and click this tool right here and just go ahead and type in impact all right so now we turn that into impact font also and just for the sake of seeing it let's cut make it a color all right make it blue and then i'm going to turn it sideways all right now we got a sideways we can lay it on top of here all right make sure it's lined up straight i'm just going to manipulate it a little bit like this make it a little bit bigger all right now say for example you are pressing this onto a shirt now all right so you got a lot nice little design right here and you want to press it to, onto a shirt one thing that i don't like to do with vinyl is i'm not a I'm not, I'm not a big fan of layering vinyl at all at all don't like layering vinyl so what i'll do is i'll cut i'll cut shapes out of other shapes so that those shapes are still there if you know what i'm saying all right so say for example we have this and we have um we can layer this but you're gonna have a full black on top on the bottom and then you can have a blue right so what i would do is i would select both of them i would come over here to this tool right here the open and modify panel open the modify panel right and then i would uh subtract all now when i click that if I move this, see what we got here? Now look at that, look at that design aspect. Guys, guys, real fast, if that little bit right there helps you out a tremendous amount with Silhouette Studio, then give me a thumbs up. Share this video with, with some friends. This is free knowledge that I'm giving you guys. This is, this is stuff that took me years to learn. This is stuff that um, a lot of people are still having problems with this stuff, all right? So I'm trying to teach you guys stuff that you can do to make some money real fast, all right? Um, as far as designing stuff now, now this is all one element Right, so you can just click that by print uh, cut that out by itself and text that onto your um, onto a um, shirt you can make it make more sense by um, Like if this was a e Say the beginning of the name started with e and then like you typed in Ellen right so you didn't have to type the e and then you could just type in um, e l a n or something like that e l l a n right e being being the big e l l a n would be right here right so you can do tips and tricks like that but let's take it a little step further right you can also cut this separately and then put this in, inside of here you can do that you still have that option right or you can manipulate this even more because you now made it a shape so now that you made it a shape you can do something like this put some points up in there right put some put a few points at the bottom i'm just clicking at the bottom right when you click on a line and it's a shape you can it, it makes it a point it makes a point right there as long as that thing comes up all right so now that you created some points you can drag this down right and then you can double click on that and you can make it a corner i want to make it smooth actually make it smooth all right um give me a second click right here on it right here let me see curve all right so now that we curve this right click right let me undo that command z command z command z command z all right so i'm gonna come down here i double clicked and i made curve all right so now that we made curve we can manipulate these points right that made that like that all right I can make this a curve too, right? 
and now now I'm creating kind of a effect kind of a I'm trying to give you guys a drip right here <laughs> you guys see what I'm doing right you got that drip manual drippage point point bring it down you got some manual drip make a curve Give me a like if y'all like that manual drip. Give me a like in the comments below. Let me know if y'all like that, that drip right there I just created. Make a curve, right? All you got to do is manipulate these points to any way you like it. And you got the drip effect. Because a lot of people like that drip effect. So, boom. Bring that in. Just manipulate the, the points. And, right, put one more... Um, bring this in a little bit to make it more of a drip um, and Then you can put another one as many as you like right as many as you like same 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 concept all right, so um Yeah, and then you can make this one a big one right all the way down just like the other one right curve all right Very very simple stuff easy stuff all right let me know what you guys think about this in the comments in the comments is this helpful is this helpful at all i need to know this so i need because if it's not helpful then i'm not going to make any more videos like this if it's helpful then i got a bunch more that i can make for you all right i'm just trying to help somebody right here all right so now you got some manual drips over there created some drips using silhouette studio now the the point of, of showing you guys this stuff is this you guys seeing this what what's going to happen is you're going to think of other ways that you could use this, these tools right these features that i'm showing you guys and when you figure out other ways you can use them you start coming up with some crazy ideas and some crazy concept i mean look at this all this using silhouette studio you would have think think that somebody did this in photoshop and brought it in right but yeah, you created this in Silhouette Studio. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, that's gonna conclude this test, this uh, demonstration. Um, I'm just, you know, giving you real quick stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it horizontal, and of course you're gonna send it to cut, right? And you only got one thing to cut. It's, it's only one piece of vinyl right here. And what's gonna happen is, when you cut it, let me flip it back so we can see it. When you cut it, um, what happens is right where this A-L-L-A-N is transparent. So whatever color shirt you press it on is gonna show right here. So it's kinda gonna be like it's two colors almost. You're gonna have the, say you press it on orange shirt. You got the orange shirt right here. You got the black text or whatever, whatever color vinyl you choose to use for the E. And then this right here is see-through. As you guys can see, it's see-through, right? Because it's gonna cut that part out. So the part of the color of the shirt is going to show right here so it's kind of gives it an effect but it's only once like it makes it looks like it's two vinyls but it's one piece of vinyl and you don't have to layer vinyl and it's easier to press and stuff like that you don't have to worry about having um edges peeking through tomorrow's video i'll show you guys how to get rid of that edge problem too because sometimes when you press vinyl um and then you do this cutout and then you put the other layer on top of it there's like there might be a little slit right here and stuff like that i'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that tomorrow using the same technique um so stay tuned for that give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already i greatly greatly appreciate it and i just want to show you, give you guys a quick tip in silhouette studio like i said i'm using designer edition i mean business edition so some of these features might not be available in the silhouette studio that you're using but it is just by what i showed you right there it's very very much worth the update or the upgrade in your silhouette studio in order to access these additional features i only showed you one tool over here guys i only showed you one tool that i use look at all of these different tools that are available for you in silhouette studio once you get the business edition so you know i'm not a silhouette studio affiliate or anything like that but i just want to like show you guys you don't need to invest in photoshop you don't need to invest in a corel or whatever i hear a lot of people using that i don't even know what it is i've never used it before but you don't need to 
you got what you need right here. You just have to learn how to manipulate the software. So I hope this was encouraging. Give me, let me know if you liked it in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Instagram.com backslash A-Dub Productions. Visit the merch store, AlanAWade.com. Buy yourself some channel merch, a black bear hat. Help support the channel. Help support your boy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?